Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. Let's hear what God is saying to us today. Proverbs chapter 6, verses 16 to 19. There are six things the Lord hates. No, seven things he detests. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that kill the innocent, a heart that plots evil, feet that race to do wrong, a false witness who pours out lies, and a person who sows discord in a family. We spend a lot of time talking and singing about the fact that God is a God of love, and that's absolutely right. But we shouldn't forget that God also has a list of pet hates. None of the things on this list come as a surprise. God hates arrogance, because the arrogant person has no time or space for him. They believe that they've already got all the answers and are content with the way that they are. God hates lies, murder, and those who eagerly scheme to do evil, and he detests the person who sows trouble and division. God wants us to follow him and to allow our lives to be shaped by his attitudes. So I have to conclude that he wants us to be haters too. He would like us to have a list of things that we detest with such intensity that we're not prepared to live with them. He wants us to stand up against those who tell lies That will give us quite a lot of work to do, because we hear lies in one form or another every day. The advertisers confidently tell us how we can find peace and fulfilment in life by buying their holiday or their car or cosmetics. Suddenly our lives will be transformed and we'll live a life of contentment. But it's just not true, and somebody needs to stand up and dispute their claims. At the heart of God's concerns is his longing for justice. Time and again throughout the Bible, God shows his hatred of the way in which the weak are crushed by the injustices of society. If we love God, we cannot stand idly by and allow injustice to win. We need to get involved in the messy business of challenging injustice and getting alongside those who are the victims of our materialistic and ungodly society. Hatred might seem to be a strange word to associate with God, But it stems from the fact that he is a God of love, who loves us and our world so much that is not willing for evil to succeed. Let me ask you a question. What are the things that you hate, and what do you do as a result of hating them? And now let me pray with you. Loving God, help us to think more and more in the way that you do. Help us to love other people by hating those things which ruin their lives. Amen. Well, thanks for listening. I do encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And don't forget that the talks are also available on podcast, which you can access at any time. If you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and a great deal more besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.